what's up this is what's up this is HG News Tech here so I at this uh video to me about you know the custom preparing on build eventually if I get the chance uh with my cousin because I don't have you know parents don't trust me building the computer and uh, it'd be better to have a little bit of a younger cousin to actually do it. he's only a year younger and technically he just built one so it's like hopefully once I get the bills paid off, what I owe with my parents, I had to pay them, of course, but, you know, I got at least over a thousand, I think, and then I got other bills that are becoming, I guess, all the checkups and all appointments. I think my insurance has kicked in. It's paying a lot more than it was earlier. I was like, when it doesn't pay, it's usually around 140 or more for a doctor. Now it's like 25 something, which is a lot cheaper, but still it's a little bit of money. But you know, it's a lot better than paying a couple hundred for one or two. And um, when my cousin was, of course, you know, with the company he was working for, still they had like a virus going around and he was in quarantine. He built a computer, so it was like talking to him, like. You know, I need to basically build one because I don't like Apple anymore because apparently, um, I don't know what to say. The batteries die faster than I can actually replace them and I'm having to go to uh, routes of basically having rechargeable batteries because it's just not worth spending $20 every couple months or so or more. It's, uh, it's quite common within weeks. For a battery to go dead for this computer, and it's just too often, and it just drains these batteries quickly. I just had to replace the mouse battery, and you'd probably be dead in about two weeks, like it was before. I had rechargeable ones in there, and I'm now charging from last night, and uh, it's costing a lot. Two batteries per um, for the keyboard and the mouse, so it's like four batteries. Four batteries, you know, every so often, every couple of weeks, and that just it's not, you know, cheap. I stopped buying those really high-end batteries because they weren't making a difference. They're still dying pretty quickly. But the very high-end batteries that our store sells, of course, when I work at, of course. But, uh, yeah. I get those notifications all the time. Talk, talk, talking to me like, you know, you never replace your batteries. You know, you're getting pretty low. It's like down to like 20% or 12% or whatever it is. And uh, they drain pretty quickly, usually. And that's something I don't, I don't like anymore. And when I had a Windows PC, you know, it was more efficient. I could use less batteries and they wouldn't be as bad. But since Apple's keyboards and mouses are so special, I guess they drain more battery when they should not. And the newer models, I can't imagine because the batteries are built in. You can't remove them. And whenever they would die, I'd be stuck having a cable in my mouse and I won't be able to use the mouse. So it's like, I don't know <laughs> what to do. And I'm glad I don't have a newer model because that's what the newer ones had now. They don't have batteries you can put into them separately. They just built into the hardware and that probably goes back quicker, by the way. Well, I can just replace the batteries and they still, I don't know. I It's just stupid. I mean, for Apple to do that, but, you know, Recharging a battery with a lightning port may sound really nice, but you think about it, wherever that battery comes really bad when it degrades over time, like every iPhone I ever owned or phone I owned, battery degraded and got worse, and this is probably a case if we have the new Max, of course, and I would hate spending $80 or more on keyboard and mouse that's Apple made and that will give out in about three years. Basically, battery health will go down, and that's something I want to avoid. And uh, also, a lot of the games I bought for this Mac when I, when I first got it are not compatible with operating system that's on it right now, and um, it doesn't support 32-bit games like the Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and then the San Andreas I bought before that, and then the Hitman and the Mafia. I don't think none of those are compatible. I only have one game that's like a 2003 game or 2004.
is that Rod goes to that team three, which is uh, not my kind of age group, and uh, it's, it's, it's just a disgrace. Um, I've tried to install them, but I wonder why they're off the App Store, because they're not compatible with the OS. That's currently on this machine, and that just sucks. And that's one of the reasons I'll probably be switching back to a Windows computer for doing a lot of my gaming and then recording, because I know I can just buy software to just record to edit videos for like only $100 for know, a year or so, or, you know, a lifetime, hopefully, but spending a lot more on a Mac compared to a PC and then having these games not work, it's just not fun for me. And I'm, I'm a Grand Theft Auto player since I was younger, and that's something I don't want to give up, but right now I can't do it on my Mac. I got to do it on my Xbox One and, or PS4, basically. So, um, yeah. It's kind of nerve-wracking, but um, I think I'm going to show you the specs that I may enjoy. It's, of course, it's an Intel build, but, you know, it's still good enough, so let's, let's see it. So I picked for if this ever comes to light and this actually becomes part of my life where I can do this. It would be an i7 with 8 cores if the money is there, of course, and I'm able to do it with my parents. My cousin agreeing with it. Um, cooler, sixty dollars. A little more expensive than the first time I did. The last one, the first time I looked on this this year, I think like in the last week, was like forty-four something. This is like seventy dollars almost. A little better. You gotta have the best normal pace, by the way. So you know that. It's really, it's only six dollars, but hopefully I only need one for these, and they last a long time. Trust me. So we're gonna buy this is one that I chose off of an Akintosh site that showed that this motherboard was compatible if I ever wanted to virtualize Mac OS for a video idea or put it on it. But you know, I don't know. It's kinda of a cool idea, but then this I picked this just in case. And it's cheaper than the other ones that were supported, so it's a little bit reduced. Price so the RAM is the cheapest. I'm not exactly sure the cheapest, but it's only $150 for 32 gig. Hopefully, that's enough to do editing as well as gameplay. I might want to bump it up a little bit, but um, it's RBG, it's RGB, so it's like you can change the colors as well as this. All right, so we got. Samsung, Terabyte, you know, it, it kept giving me compatibility issues with those M.2 card, you know, storage devices for the storage, and uh, those were real small, thin, kind of like RAM, but with a terabyte or more of storage, and uh, it wouldn't let me do it, so. So this is the graphic card. This is a pretty good one compared to what I got right now on this machine that's, that's soldered into it. This is the Intel processor, and that's what it's all powered from for the video and audio and all that together. It's not an AMD or an NVIDIA, it's just all Intel Macintosh. So, with the Radon RX 588 gig, which is a little bit bump up from the requirements of one of the games I got right here, playing coaster, it only takes 4 gigs of max. This is 8. Practical design, I had to go with this one because I was playing on putting fans in there as well as controller and then the SD card thing. So if I could, if I wanted to get a camera, I could just put this thing into the computer case and then just take the footage and edit with it. And that was like, I mean, it's, it's a necessity. It's things, something that's not really needed, but down the road if I had the money and I have everything shorted with my uh, life and everything's good and I can afford it then I'll go with it or I can just pick one up from Walmart where I work and it'd probably be cheaper but it had to be plugged into a USB port but that's alright and it was probably cheaper and probably a better deal so so LG Blu-ray burner and uh, unfortunately our store doesn't carry Blu-ray discs but I can always order those with permission of course and store video or buy a USB drive, which is cheaper, but I never had a Blu-ray, I would like to have one, but, you know, how it is. 
Windows 10 Pro. This is the one that supports higher RAM. If I ever want to go to a higher system, I could just. I think. I don't know. I can does this depends. It's OEM, so it's probably like system builder. It's like $142.88. At home, it's like $180. And um, this comes to $1,600. And um, there's $30 in rebates, I believe, in this. And I don't know why it doesn't show it, but I guess it's already saved and it doesn't show it. But um, that's pretty much it for the details. That's this enough to do it. And um, that might be as the USB. I think these are most likely USB now these days. They're not like they used to be. There's not a lot of disk based operating systems anymore. Unless you downloaded a Linux distro and burn it to a DVD or W recordable drive disk, you know. Which I would do anyway because it's just saving money. And a lot of those OS is a free and it's, so it may be an option to have extra, you know, extra drive. Eventually put it in this, and I don't think I'm going to buy the SSD from there because I know there's terabyte ones. I don't know if it's compatible with the motherboard, but it may be a little cheaper than this, about 108 for a terabyte for a different brand, but still, you know, a good quality for less. So, uh, this probably will not come to light right here, and there'll probably be at least two of those in there, and then an extra, and then whatever. Depending how much the computer can handle, how many slots I got. This one's got it's got USB C, which I don't even have in this machine. It's so old. It's got USB 3.0, not the new 3.2 Gen 1 and 2. Um, it's got two of those. So I can only put two. Um, Two of those SSDs, and then six of the 3.5, which is the bigger hard disk, the you know slow upgrading hard drives, and uh, that will probably be a better option to store games or like footage. But most likely it'll be on a USB drive external, which is cheaper. And um, in that case, the motherboard. Supports all of these. Uh, it's got three of these PCIe 16 slots. It's got Crossfire and then Navita two way. So I can put two Navita cards in, which I'm not planning on doing. And it's got built in video based on the CPU of Intel. Then it's got, it's got two of those, but I don't think I can use those in a certain way. So it's got, should have, it's got two. Thousand meg ports apparently. It's got Wi-Fi built in, so I don't have to buy it. And it doesn't have ECC, which is corrected memory. If something happens in the program, the memory messes up. I can lose files, and um, this motherboard doesn't support that protection from the RAM point of that incident. If it would occur, and a lot of YouTubers don't buy these not ECC motherboards they just buy ones that have the protection built in so when they, if they edit a video and there's an error it corrects itself before something really horrible happens and it corrupts the data which just happened to apparently my Mac in the last couple of videos I'm trying to edit a video and apparently the memory could have been the issue and it probably didn't have none of this but um, I don't think my Mac supports that about this Mac. Of course, this thing's not upgradable anymore, so it's past the five years that Apple will allow Best Buy and other vendors to upgrade these things and maintenance them. <sighs> oh, the system reports. You see, I, got, I only got eight gigs in the system. That's what I came with, so it's like, all right. So it's got.
Yeah, see that? Doesn't have it. soon. I thought you would buy these two liters for a couple dollars or a dollar seventy cents wherever it is. Keep my voice good so they're large of course. So um, it's got Intel. It's got this is probably why it probably failed. It's only off of the processor and those are usually not very good on gaming trust me. I do have a card reader. I don't have an SD card, but I don't use it anyway. So, the camera is an Apple camera, Apple Pay, which I do not use, and I probably will, would not recommend because you're going to end up having credit card debt if it has interest rate. Well, I'm sure it does. See, it does not contain a hard brush. I can't do it anyway if I wanted to, which is a bummer, but still, I would not recommend it. That. So, so this is here's a Wi Fi that pulls it up. Apparently these are the networks the pair I was connected to earlier. I did have kind of passwords, which is good. Thunderboard I didn't really use except for the E to my owl, so except King Gigabytes, two of those. Storage. Because I already know what the storage is. Just to continue this, Chris Burnham. External, as you know, because uh, apparently Apple doesn't have any kind of built in DB drives anymore. Apparently, I wish they did. Controller doesn't have controller devices. Bluetooth, I tell you, it does have Bluetooth, and it's old, probably so. I don't know that motherboard supports Bluetooth. I don't look fastly. <laughs> you know, it probably doesn't. You want to, have to probably add that. Um, I just got to actually edit this. Oh, we got to back out. Back out of that. Edit part list. Um, I'm going to go to accessories now. Um, and Bluetooth. I might be able to custom. Custom part. Ah, okay, I would not know that. Um, this is most likely. Um, I honestly wish I actually knew because uh, there is Bluetooth uh, wireless that probably work on Mac OS or Windows and you can't just pick a part and expect it to work. It may not work. And uh, There were parts of my old, my first Vista machine that I had from the 90s and they worked fine. When the network card apparently went out original on this computer, and it just did fine for years, so no problem. By the way, I got a really dry throat, and apparently really dry eyes, so I don't actually have any kind of tears either. So that's the thing I got. I know I need to put uh, drops in my eyes, but. You know, it's kinda of, kinda of risky right now with this COVID going around, so you know. 
And I don't technically like these eye drops because it's just annoying. So this is this network will be more than my network can handle. I have to upgrade my network to use this one. The last of those back pack were supported for a certain series of networks. Let's see, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go back because I'm gonna see. Go to the motherboard. You go by, I'm sure it has support. I'm gonna double check. It's got one PCI, it had two of those I can only have. You know, I could probably combine a Bluetooth then. Of course, I don't have any kind of uh, way to buy sus, so I'm not buying regardless. I'm just checking to see what they have. It's a PCI 1, I know that. Um, most of these parts are from Amazon anyway, so. Modified card. Hopefully it picks up quickly. Uh, this is oh, okay. This is ooh, I don't know what that. Oh yeah, that's that's, that's more than I got. So it's got to look for TP Link, which it's kind of harsh to have on your computer for sure. If you're gonna have it underneath this desk, which is not very high up, but okay, TP Link Wi-Fi six. Okay. See, this is why my computer needs to be retired. Basically, it's so slow. So, I'm going to go back. I'm going to actually go to network because that's probably where it is. Or let's guess that's what it is. So, I'm going to go to. You know what? Let's do that. That make it easier. And I'll just find it. Uh, you know, I'm going to actually move these over because. Because the Mac OS doesn't have that snap feature like Windows does. So, I got to resize all these windows. Hopefully, I can get them in there correctly in the video. So, it's a TP Link Wi Fi 6. It's the X. Okay. So, it's, so it's probably higher up. Uh oh. Oh, this might be it. I'm all the messes. Yeah, I think this is it. Bluetooth, fire. that's yeah, that's it. Okay. Make sure I don't hang on. I gotta go back to it. And no combat issues, which is good because that's what I'm looking for. I'm making sure that it'll work. Cause this website does not help you. And it's free, just make an account. I made it yesterday. So uh, this will not be in the build for this type. Unless I can order this. You know, Samsung's probably a better brand, but. I can get one at Walmart cheaper with you know a discount of course. And um I'm not gonna say the discount in this company, but uh yeah. Shipping is seventeen dollars how I believe. That's not too bad for close to seventeen hundred dollars. Ain't too bad really, and that's probably a couple hundred pounds right there. Over a hundred at least in weight. But then I could be wrong, but now I could be true, I could be right, because I've built one these for I haven't built one really yet in my life, but my father's done a lot of times and uh this is Intel. Walmart's got it for free shipping. See that? That's like a hundred dollars for a year by the way. And that's something I might probably go to Walmart and hopefully can find this uh with my associate discount and actually look it up right now. Oh. Disable the audio before I turn on the internet back on and put on airplane mode so I wouldn't get notifications of audio. 
if they get too expensive it's like crazy and they play a cup parade and bazooka and I don't want that so until it's the 97 and go up okay good here it is I don't usually like vision normal as it does green it's hard it's easy to mess up when you're pushing in certain digits and letters so all I do is put 9700 I'm gonna do processor of course all right it doesn't see that oh wow okay oh it's, it's on no standard it's not on the walmart.com do it again that's not too bad I labeled our processors, by the way. Okay. Honestly, that's that's the one I could save on. It's got. Yeah, I can save on this. And it'd be free shipping. I can pick it up at the store. Oh, just it's like two days to. Oh wow, it's on sale. It's like half price, quite literally. This thing's usually six hundred and seventeen dollars, and it's on sale for three seventy-two dollars and zero cents, which is a bargain, by the way. But uh, <laughs> that's why free shipping. But you know, discounting this would be worth more than this right here, especially if it's cheaper already. And um. Intel usually has some really good hardware. I enjoy it. I used to have Intel gaming desktops, but believe it or not, custom built. I think there's only one that had that, and I think it was like 2003 with XP, and it was it's a lot slower than this. I can tell you one thing you would not be able to run any kind of Windows on it, like the current day versions, you know. But uh, uh, thankfully, it only takes one processor, so that's a, that's a huge savings. I would not pay six hundred dollars for that thing, but uh, it's, hard, it's a good deal. Prime, this would be another hundred dollars. That'd be eight, putting up to four hundred and seventy-one dollars and ninety-nine cents. Come on. And um, this. I'm going to see if this is on Walmart. Nope, <laughs> it's on Amazon. Oh. Oh, it's out of stock on Amazon. Free shipping, either way. Same price. But, of course, taxes for the state. And that's not naming near what I probably would use. But it would be nice to have a fully robust system. So, so I don't have to do a lot of upgrades in the future with hardware. I don't have to buy a new computer for a while. And that's something with Apple. I <laughs> made a mistake on it. I'm not going down that road again. So, I know Wi Fi. I don't know why this mother would not have Bluetooth. I mean, that's kind of a shame, but you know, you can always add one. But then, why are you about the built in uh, internet um, Wi Fi? But technically, that's a. You know, fives. And at Wi Fi 5, and uh, this is a Wi Fi, I believe 6, as it says. Yeah, see, it's a little higher version, it's a little newer, and it'd probably be better through that port. And I'll have Bluetooth, so I'll be able to use these keyboards. But I doubt I'll use Apple because I constantly waste some batteries, like I said earlier in the video. And if you like this kind of stuff, take related, and just go ahead and subscribe below this video, and like as well and share because that's what I like. I grew up with custom critters, and um, they're not as cheap as they used to be. I <laughs> know that for sure. 
I mean, that was more pricey, but the value is higher now than it ever was been. But still, at least they have this website since a couple years, so it's nice to have this. Software, it'd be needed for YouTubers, so we'll see what they got. Antivirus, no doubt. That's something I, if you're going to have Windows, get a good AV. Don't get a cheap one. I could probably go to the store and get one. But then, uh, malware bytes, that apparently does not protect against ransomware. It's been, I've seen a lot of YouTubers and they test this with security channels and that one probably fails for sure. There's a lot of these that would not pass the test. And some don't do as good on detecting these viruses that are isolated in a certain way in a folder. So, um, 100 bucks. I'm hoping that's lifetime uh, license. You know, remember this company on YouTube that uh, had their um, website hacked, their keys, it was embarrassing. I would avoid this. I don't trust it anyway. Uh, something like that doesn't sound good. I remember that one. Come on, let's go over here. Um, I don't know which sand ever again be like me. AVG, I never tried that, but I wish I would. But of course, it would have to be one where I could just buy a card, money card, and just take the numbers off the back of it. Not prepaid from the brand. This used to be, this is the first antivirus I bought when I was working in the store still. In 2012, I bought it from my old, uh, the machine it was worth it, trust me. They don't sell it like they used to anymore. Sony Vegas CD or DVD. This probably be handy, but I want the newest version, of course, you know. But, um, you know, this uh, I would have to review the antiviruses when I get all this ready, see what went better because you gotta be wise on it. Um, Hoping I'll need that, but it can always be needed. Um, holy cow! I went, ooh, Jesus Christ. One year, $36. Oh. Oh boy. That makes you wonder if you really want to, you really want to buy these. Descriptions limited. I based it on a timer, so. Uh, I'm going to ask to go to. I think they. No, that's the wrong. Defender was good one year. I heard about it. Of course, I got Max. I can't basically use it. Um, I don't Max. It's just like probably one PC. One device. What's a device of security? One year PC? What's $8? So like for four seven. This will be working as a free PC by the way, we have the device. Junk files and uh erasing is corruption your machine will be slow, trust me. I used to have one of those on when I got the way with this machine, I kept it going pretty good. It, you know, it fixed you know, program files and all that and backed everything up as well. So kept them from crashing a lot. Also now, which is like three devices. Um, I just buy this one over at the Walmart and save some money. Yeah, it makes it, this is probably the best. This is one of the best wires protection that you've probably used in the past. Webcam, that's something I definitely need. 
and the camera. How oh, can I gotta go without that? All right, let's go back. You need a camera for a YouTuber. Okay. Buy one probably. Yeah, it probably doesn't have that. My camera is easily bought. You don't have to worry about requirements that much. But about 400 watts. And do I have a parts plug? Did I leave that out? Oh my god, I did. All right, we'll fix that. So, um, I do ask me to look at that motherboard before I ask to do that. Let's see if what kind of pins it has. All right. Then it shows us. Power supplies. Okay, these will come good. Um, this is a little more flexibility and it should work right. Yeah, that's good. No, that was a lot easier than picking like before. So now, this doesn't even include a monitor, speakers, and a camera. So, and software, of course. And a Windows license as well. Course, so it's probably about two thousand dollars, but still, I probably go Walmart. I'll come get a cheaper PC of this build. Upgrade build is easily, and I just replace the part if I need to. So I'm gonna save this. So now it's complete, so I didn't notice that. I'm glad I made the video and looked at it. So that's one of the better efficient power supplies. All right. So thanks for watching. Uh, I guess I'll see you later. So thank you.